This is Cup of Gaming UK podcast. I'm Bragg. I'm joined today by Jake. Hello. And Lachlan. What? <laughs> oh, we're back to that, are we? <laughs> Jesus Christ, that's a throwback. And like special guest. Oh yeah, I was even further throwback. Most of us probably don't know that. We haven't used that joke in them. at least ten episodes, which is at least five years ago. Yeah. <laughs> Anniversary soon. Anniversary soon. Uh, uh, before our weekend, you get. Uh, what, what do we get in the comments, Lachlan? Um, I can't remember. <laughs> Last comments were all the bandless predictions. Yeah. Yeah. Alrighty. So since then, we put up uh, a you Sanju list. Um, Dizzy Puppet writes, "Hey guys, hope you all are doing well. Got a bit of an odd question for y'all." Do you think one of you could beat Freddy Krueger in a duel, and what deck would he use? Nightmare, nightmare. Um, <laughs> I was, was going to say, it'd be just pure nightmares. You do, think, like, like okay. extra thing. But... Yeah, oh, probably no. Nightmare. Nightmare's oh, no, probably no. better. Do you know exactly what he'd use? Dream Mirrors. Ooh. Yeah. I don't really like um, Freddy much. No, he's pretty boring. Yeah. I don't think anyone does, do they? <laughs> oh, there's, there's there's plenty of horror movie people that would kind of lean his way. Definitely not uh, Johnny Depp. <laughs> Jesus, he got eaten by a mattress. Yeah. <laughs> um. Uh, I don't think I would beat Freddy in a duel. Oh, he probably couldn't pick up the cards. So yeah, probably yeah. I'd win. Uh, he probably true. put holes he in them and then have them, a right? not tournament legal deck. Judge, um, judge. <laughs> yeah, I just call judge on Freddy Krueger. He's got my sleeves. <laughs> um, moving on. Mm-hmm. Um, on the Mystic Mind Dynamist um, video, which I put up ages ago, but it's still getting comments. We got one that said, I'm hoping Dynamist get new support. That was the only deck. The only pendulum deck I would ever play. Also, nice play at 810. I agree with you. Very nice play at 810. The, the play was, I just activated Howling twice, and that was the whole play. <laughs> uh, um, <laughs> moving on, Edwin, uh, legend, uh, always giving us good... Uh, says, hey guys, what would be your top pieces of advice for new Yu-Gi-Oh players? What are things you wish you could have known when you started out? And he said, I will leave the amount of advice, like pieces of advice to you guys. Uh, number one, MST does not negate. Um, my number one would be, uh, download YGO prices. Don't let yourself get ripped off because there are many, many people who will rip you off if you are new to the game. That is pretty much my as advice I've, to new players. As I've been spruiking on the, um, on the sealed only channel, it's just like, get... All the good stuff from Jewel Devastator. Pick yeah, up buy three Jewel Devastators. Yeah. And then whatever structure deck. Keep it simple. Don't worry about losing games. Like, yeah, on. it's all learning experience early on. You're not supposed to be good. Then, yeah. then maybe get them familiar terms. So. Uh, like, go to your locals uh, when it is safe to do so. Um, find out. Like, take a look around if you think you... Try to look for people who are, like, you know, nice and, you know, knowledgeable and try to stick around those people and just learn, like, just be a sponge. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Don't go straight for meta decks as well. Go for decks that you enjoy. Yeah. I. It's a meme, but I think a good starting point is, like, Yosenju or Salad. Yeah, like, salad's, I- salad's a very good starting point. It's very simple to pick up. Um, and you will win games as well, which always feels nice when you first start out. Phantasm Spiral would probably be a good starting point as well, I think. Just reactive, and so you learn how everything works. Pretty much all the structure yeah. decks seemingly lean into strategies that are a bit easier to like, like pick up, as well, but also there's, there's like a good power level there. Um, obviously, some more powerful than others, but... Hmm. I don't know if the the combo tree in Felgrand was massive. Uh, yeah, let's look at that Felgrand deck. <laughs> uh, any other comments? Uh yeah. Um on 
our Mech Knight Orcus deck profile, we got one that said, Konami failed to give us an Orcus Synchro. Well, they didn't. They gave us Borrowload Savage, but it's so hard to make. <laughs> yeah, there'll probably be an Orcus Synchro. But, I mean, Brass Bomber is... This, this is in reference to me being like, oh, Brass Bombard is a um a tuna. Why is there no Orcus link, uh, Synchro? I mean, to be fair, they did get an XZ that you don't actually have to make with the proper materials, so that's always do the nice. same with Synchro. Yeah. yeah. Just, One this tuna, card no other materials. A, a level <laughs> yeah. two tuna. Um, but yeah, that's all the comments. As yeah. always, if you want to get in touch with us you can email us at teamc4g at gmail.com the four being a number and uh just leave a comment like that's the that's the most the the most simple way to get in touch with us is just to leave a comment on any one of our videos we read all of them yeah we do we see all yeah always watching (laughs) fucking pixel reference here uh, how was that week in Yu-Gi-Oh? Um, start with you, Jake. Uh, my week was pretty good. Um, what was the weird format that we played on Sunday? I can't even remember. Were you playing it at Lachlan? No, you weren't. Um, uh, spell ruler. Up to spell ruler. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Magic ruler. So there wasn't many of us in there, but it was pretty fun because like, you're forced in that format to play back and forth because you can only do two things a turn. Um, like Ben and Wine's game in the we'll call it finals, was super fun, and I lost because he top-decked um, Snatch Steel. That'll do it. That'll do it. Yeah. Was Delinquent and Duo at three? Um, yeah, all of those cards were at three. Uh, Delinquent Duo, Confiscation, and the Four Century. All at three. I was like, I was doing something at the start of the tournament. I was just sitting around like later, and it's like I'd seen what the tournament was, and like, it occurred to me going, wait. They're just going to play three duos. And I logged on to Discord, jumped into your chat and went, you're playing three duos? <laughs> I wasn't because I didn't want to open a hand completely of duos and have nothing else. So I think I was playing maybe two of each of them and I think I cited a third. But then hmm? they'll have less than you. Then it wouldn't matter. Yeah, but yeah. And then you'll be down For the most part. life points. Then you'll be in danger of losing. Hmm. Uh, Lachlan, how's your week? Yeah, pretty good. Um, yeah, I, I think I've actually only won one duel this entire week. Um, but it was against Seb, so that is a bonus. Um, uh, yeah, because both you, you were playing various forms of I out can, um, you know, always working on new lists and stuff. I entered Farfa's traditional tournament. Got How did that go? Because I've asked you like several times. In... <laughs> uh, by okay. Buster Bladers because they just... Like, they didn't even use any non... Like, they didn't even do any of the, like, traditional cards. They just opened the lock every single time. And I was like, okay, what can I... Like, so, so was it a single Elim? No, but I just dropped. Oh. I got beat so bad, I dropped. Classic. So I was like, you yeah. keep doing that. It's very yeah. I feel sad when you do that. What, uh, what else know. is he gonna say, Jake? What else is he gonna say? But it is what it is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Uh, for my week, uh, I was just buying packs again because I'm a fiend. I'm a fiend. I went to EB Games today. Yeah. And the, so there's a reason I went why. to Zing. So there's like, I went to yeah, Figgy. But, um. Electronic Boutique. There's a, there's a reason <laughs> why. There's, I'm, I'm chasing, uh, uh, Hackle Fibrax this afternoon. Oh, I had to go with the message to the dude. Is he answered yet? He hasn't replied yet. Oh. No. I mean, mm-hmm. I got, I got an Ultra Phantasma, so there's that. Oh, that's pretty good. But I immediately negged. I took a neg on what like, I bought um, the Harpies, the Sisters of the Rose Jewelist uh, pack. Uh, oh yeah, the, girl power set. Yeah, I got the um the train. <laughs> Is the train uh, worth money? Yeah, fifty yeah. bucks. Oh, that's not too bad. 
yeah, I didn't get a special schedule. Good, I got the Harvey card. It was all right. So yeah, I mean, buying more packs. So that means I can probably play that Neldich down the line. That'll be okay. And all, and otherwise, we'll be just watching the original anime. We are in to the. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. We've we've got three days, two days. Yeah, and I've really got to make a decision to get through four episodes, whether or not we we watch any. <laughs> We uh, we should have skipped this virtual world arc, man. Nah, it's. I mean, you wouldn't have got your penguin doing otherwise, I guess. But yeah, uh, watch out for um, penguin deck. <laughs> yeah. I'll make it work somehow. As soon as, they get, as soon as they get that penguin sword card, oh, you're done. you That's their combo finished. What penguin sword? There's, yeah, the sword that he gave the penguin. Like gives it seven hundred. Oh, point. yeah. <laughs> I'm so yeah, confused bro. what you guys are talking about. To be um, fair, they what? did just make penguins into an archetype. It's not a good archetype, but they are an archetype. You haven't seen season three, Jake? I have, but I like saw that the Nico's guy's penguin nightmare penguin lost on me. And then, oh, yeah. oh, no, yeah. oh, no yeah, yeah. penguin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Puny, puny penguin. Great emperor penguin. There was a lot of penguins, wasn't there? I don't understand why Great Emperor Penguin is a level 5. Like, it wouldn't have been broken if it was a level 4. Like, it's just... <laughs> Wait. Oh, it's a level 5. I can pendulum up. Check out the check out the channel. Pendulum it, it'll penguins. Be coming up. Pendulum penguins. Dynamous penguins. Oh, God. <laughs> it's Rescue Rabbit for penguins. <laughs> it legitimately is five. Rescue Rabbit for penguins. It's <laughs> Rescue Rabbit, but you summon out fucking two penguin knights. And then yeah. make... Isn't Penguin Knight a level 4 vanilla anyway? Nah, you're thinking of uh, Flying Penguin. Oh, my mistake. <laughs> or oh, Fluffle Penguin. If you're in the Australian... Yeah, you uh, when Fluffle this card penguin. is sent from the deck to the graveyard by the effect controlled by your opponent, yep. um, unite your graveyard and your... What? <laughs> your own deck. Shuffle them and form a new deck. There is no ruling is on this card. So... I'm so if confused. you've got you're extra deck cards in here, cards and your own deck, so it's just shuffle your graveyard into your deck, but they've worded it like, <laughs> no, 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 it says make a new deck. So it's not the main deck; it is the main um, deck too, and it has extra deck cards in it. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> Penguin Knight effect switch to August. <laughs> Legit, I don't understand other like. I know how. I judge would rule this card, and I will fight them to the death. <laughs> if this card resolves, and you have extra deck monsters in the graveyard, they should go in the main deck. Because <laughs> it's uh, well, not the main deck; it's a new deck. It's completely new. Unite uh, your so graveyard dumb. cards and your own deck. So Imagine dumb. if Exodius, when it was summoned, was like. Unite the monsters from Unite. your graveyard and your own deck. But yeah, it makes it sound penguin's a penguin's pretty good too. God, there's a lot more penguins. When this card is way. sent from the field to the graveyard after being flipped face up. <laughs> so dumb, it's just a flip effect, but worse. Target one penguin monster in your graveyard. Special summon that in face up attack position or face down defense position. I like how they said face down defense position as if it would be broken if uh penguins could be in face down attack position there was an old card that you could do that with yeah, but i think it's since been eroded it so that you couldn't put links face down it was darkness approaches and it should it shouldn't have ever been fixed because i never got to pull it off and i always wanted to just got two cards from your hands like one face up one so and change it to face down defense but, but do not change its battle position Oh, uh, the one that I had, yeah. like, I just saw the text, so I didn't see the thing. It's just a shitty uh, Book of Moon. It is a really terrible Book of Moon. <laughs> Unless you've got dangers, then it's great. Anyway, that's our Penguin Talk for yeah. the week. Yeah. Um, come back Tick next week box. for more Penguin Talk. I'll see when? if I can win a duel on YGO the... Pro with Penguin. Do you remember that... Um... Mix archetype tournament we ended up having to do, and one of yours yeah. was penguins. What was penguin your other volcanic. archetype? That's it, penguin volcanic. To be fair, was... as far as I remember, I didn't actually do that bad. But you got I mean, 
better like you definitely got, got better archetype dragoonity yeah and like you pulled off the didn't you make crystal wing at one point no i tried no that yeah was that's right okay so i had the wind witch archetype in there i had the wind witch engine because i was like oh yeah wind synchro yeah that works yeah i didn't put the crystal wing in the extra deck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> i was like oh yeah this would be great to make crystal wing did that but, ever you go know, out what's that did that ever go out? I think it went. I think that was one of them that went out. I think. I think it did. I think that was one of the first ones we did. I think it was. I mean, we've done two that ever made it out. So I'm still editing the third. Yeah. <laughs> it's still, it's still working. After the ban list, um, <laughs> the ban list of old. <laughs> oh God. The, what, I think the last one that went up was the one that we did with Lachlan as a guest, and I mean not Lachlan, sorry, Logan as a guest, yeah. and he um. He kept quitting when he was about to lose, and we got really angry at him. <laughs> yeah, but he deserved to get angry. Yeah, he deserved it. <laughs> <laughs> Moving <laughs> right along. So, uh, can only America. I was going to say like both, but I can only the American one end up confirming that uh, they're extending the current pause on uh, sanction events until June. Not June. <laughs> July. Oh no, it's gone. Where's the date gone? June June thirty. June 30th. There we go. Cool, cool, cool. I wasn't sure if it was July second or June thirty, but it was June thirty. Fellas, sorry to get off topic, but I have found the video. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's the first one we ever did. We did two, <laughs> and this was the. Uh... It was fun. It, it to be fair, it wasn't actually bad, but like, just my opening hand is like. Um, it's incredible. It's like Triblaze Accelerator, Bolt Penguin, the <laughs> uh, Penguin Knight. The um, it's just incredible. I remember not even doing too bad in these games. To be fair, for what for what I had, <laughs> you can't. Maybe we should do another one of those. with any other archetypes. This is crazy. Yeah, no, you can't. Especially not penguins. <laughs> Mm. But yeah, anyway, getting back into it. Uh, yeah. So, uh, sanctioned events have been paused until June 30. And then they're also promoting the remote jewels. And they're going to try and... Uh, if uh, An OTS store can run a remote jewel tournament. And uh, they should be able to supply a, a secret rare version of United We Stand. Or secret rare version of Guardian Angel Joan. As uh, prize support. That's broken. I want a secret Guardian Angel Joan. Yeah. In I was like... 2020. It looks pretty damn good though. Wait, what was the first card you set up? You know we stand. Oh, what the, those are that's such that, bizarre that's cards. Be cool. Well, I mean, they're just oh, oh, oh I get what it. I, okay, yeah. I understand. Yeah, yeah. United we stand as like yeah, stick together yeah. and guarding Angel Joan because she's a healy bitch. Yeah, I get it. I see what you do, Konami. Yeah, good on them. It does. Uh... Yeah, I'm not gonna say that. Um, <laughs> so yeah, I, we, we're getting there, we're getting there. Stay. Light at the end of the tunnel and all that jazz. Uh, so, uh, Konami also uh, hit up some YouTubers to uh, give them all, uh, Toon Chaos leaks. Us included? You, you, um, I was gonna say, you say We didn't some. ever put ours out though. It's actually, um... Well, there is one Toon it? card it's missing my from phone. the list. It's in the email that Konami sent me. It could uh, easily be. Like, there's just, there is one card missing. Konami. Here we, we go. Maybe we gave uh, them the wrong email. Dynamist Howling. We do have one for Dynamist Howling. Yeah. It's actually just a monster. <laughs> All right. So, uh, also, it was a bit weird. Um, for a, it, was, it was confusing for about 10 to 15 minutes of... Uh, Different uh, different language cards were out there, so we had to translate once again. It's, um, it was a fun time, but I don't mind giving like the community outreach. But then also, you're sp you're, you're you're spooling forward to about ten minutes into every single YouTube video because all of them just somehow run ten minutes. Mm. I've never yeah, seen because they've been monetized. I've never seen a reprint of uh, Sangen in which the Black Forest is rare as being covered so deeply. <laughs> and not mention the good combo with uh, 
the old gunslinger. What's his name? I've already forgotten his name. Quick draw. That's it. Don't know what you're going to do with Witch of the Black Forest, though. Is that bitch still banned? No. Or she got a no. run too. It's a rotted. Cool. Cool. Yeah. Shouldn't well, have been. It's been a, it's been a long year. This probably happened two years ago, but what do you do? All right, so, <laughs> uh, the lead, one of the lead cards is set with Chaos Creator. Uh, so, Chaos Creator, good old uh, 2,300 attack, 3,000 defense, so like the normal creator. Coming normal summon set, but first be special summon by banishing one light, one dark monster from your graveyard. So back to the old ca- classic Chaos effect. If you control this card, special summon from the hand. That was, that was a weird noise. You can target three banished monsters with different names, press on one of them, then place the rest on the bottom of the deck in any order. You Pretty know? good. Yeah. I, I think it's good enough. So you have to target three. Like, yeah. That's yeah. what one dude be like. You could put this in August, and then every other comment was like, how would you put this in August? <laughs> it does seem not possible. Uh, you could with Lib and shit if you banished Lib some. Yeah, I suppose... Like, in theory, I could do it with the Mech Knight variant, but it seems bad. Yeah, if you banish Lib to special summon this, you could do it. Yeah. Special summon Lib back. Yeah. Eh, that could work. I always That's like the creator's good. artwork as well. I, I'm, the, I'm always... Yeah. Happy. I remember having a secret creator years ago, and oh, I was wow. like, this card looks sick. I only ever had, like, um... I had a Povo version, I'm pretty sure, but it was still really cool. Uh, the other the other cover card of the uh, set is Toon Black Loss of Soldier. Uh, 3,000 attack, 2,500 defense. Can't be normal summon set. Must first be special summoned from your hand by attributing two monsters from your hand or field whose total levels equal eight or more. It has to be Toon specifically, though, doesn't it? Yeah. But from hand as well is pretty, pretty all right. Uh, while you control Toon World and your opponent doesn't control Toon Monster, this card can attack your opponent directly. Oh, so you don't even need the Toon Monsters on the field. I uh, Toon World on the field. So this is like the um, Gemini Elf one. Um, those style tunes, not the Mermaid Yes, tunes. it's not the OG tunes. Yeah. It's the, like, Gen 2 tunes. Yeah. Once per turn, if you control Toon World, you can target one card on the field, banish it. Also, this card cannot attack the turtles. This effect was Wait, activated. one card or one monster? Target one card. Oh, that's busted. Yeah, so they've um, so they've nerfed its double attacking. Boo. <laughs> that that's okay because you can banish anything. Yeah. Double attacking. Also, well, they have two and rollback. If they want to attack yeah, twice, yeah, they so, just yeah. Double attacking and two and rollback would probably be a bit dumb. Um, it's kind of weird that uh, the format I'm reading this in is swapping between toon cards and uh, chaos cards. But here we go, chaos Valkyria. Level 4 light fairy effect monster. Fuck, this is, this is really set me off now. I wish I didn't do this. Uh, I'm going to read the Chaos cards, then come back to the turns. Bakura <clears throat> <laughs> cannot be normal summon set. Must be first person summon by card effect. Strange. You can banish one light or one dark monster from your graveyard. Special summon this card from your hand. Cool, that's not an inherent summon. There's a semicolon in there. Cool. If this card is banished, you can send one light or one dark monster from deck to graveyard. But for the rest of this turn, you can write cards or effects of cards with the same name as that card. Um, mm, that's not that good. Uh, I mean, it's it does what uh, the white like the the wyverns do, but worse. Yeah, far worse. Like <laughs> just the fact that you can't use their effects either. So it's like not good in Thunder Dragons because like you can't then banish ones to get value. Um, like I guess it's good just to actually get stuff in grave. Yeah. Yeah. I know, it seems not great. And now for a card that I didn't realise like I really wanted and is really fitting is Chaos to Delius. Um I didn't really How did... hmm? there's like seven different ways of pronouncing this. To Delius, isn't it? Or is it Daedalus? I thought it was Daedalus. Oh, hold on. Or Daedalus. Daedalus. Ah uh, no yeah. Daedalus would make sense, wouldn't it? Daedalus. I I just say what I've like I've always said because 'cause I've Read that card like that for years. Here we go. Let's just call him da- Daedalus. Daddy. Chaos Daddy. Daddy Dave. <laughs> so Chaos Chaos Dave says. <laughs> um <laughs> Can I be normal summon set must burst be special summon from your hand by banishing one light or one dark monster and one dark monster, not all. 
Oh, God guy. damn. I got so excited for a second. <laughs> Imagine. When a field card is face up on the field, your opponent cannot target light or dark monsters with card effects. You can target face up cards on the field up to the number of face up field spells on the field. Banish them. If. Mm, I reckon I could make that work in meta. <laughs> Maybe. That was a quick effect. My God, imagine. imagine. Oh, it'd be so good. <laughs> um, yeah, I just never really thought about like that light rated uh, Daedalus existed and not. Yeah. I, it just never really occurred to me. And now I'm happy. Uh, whoever, whoever, whoever came up with this card, good on you. Uh, well into, done. Into <laughs> a new exclusive Chaos Space. Normal spell, send one light or dark monster from your hand to the graveyard, add one light or dark dark monster that cannot be normal summoned or set from your deck to your hand with a level of eight to... Uh, sorry, from four to eight. With I was going to say... Eight, from eight <laughs> to four. Eight, two, seven, four, nine, and thirteen. Um, with a different attribute than the monster that was summoned. Set, uh, sent, not summoned. <laughs> Jesus, you can banish this card from your graveyard. Shocker. Yeah. <laughs> they're setting in they're setting in the, the sleep wolves are here <laughs> you can banish this card from your graveyard target one banished light or dark monster that cannot be normal summon set place that monster on the bottom of the deck then draw one card you can use each effect of chaos space once per turn this seems good with the wyverns and shit yeah because you just like endlessly loop them yeah, like the chaos cards are cool, but right? I'm not sure. So, it's... like in the, because you can use both effects in one turn, right? Yeah. So you send the dark one to add the light one, then banish the dark one to summon the light one, then use the grave effect to shuffle the dark one back into deck and draw a card. Yeah. Yeah, so that seems bit, busted. So yeah, yeah, it means you can. Ooh. I was gonna make a dumb joke. I won't. Otherwise. <laughs> Eternal Chaos is a trap card with a, it's a really cool looking artwork with Chaos Horse just coming out of the fucking different dimension <clears throat> and it does target one face up monster your opponent controls send one light and dark monster from your deck to the graveyard whose combined attack is equal to or lower than that monster's also for the rest of his turn after this card resolves you can only activate one monster effect in the graveyard what it seems real bad yeah so it just doesn't do anything with the, the monster you targeted that's all right. No, it like yeah. it's a really bad foolish burial. Yeah, sure is a trap card that does like that mills too. That doesn't matter. Yeah, um... fiend grieving. Yeah, that'll do. Wait, is it fiend grieving or fiend? No, fiend comedian. That's the fiend one. Fiend comedian. Oh, you got to flip a coin for that. Isn't that fiend griefing? Yeah, fiend griefing's are definitely a mill card as well. But it only does one, I'm pretty sure. Do, 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 do. Fiend Griefing's artwork looks really cool. Yeah, it's got that fabled elf thing. Shuffle in the deck, then you can send one Fiend Monster from your deck to the graveyard. Ah, so it's Fiend specifically. So Fiend Comedian just mills up to the number of ones in the graveyard or field or something. Yeah. I don't know. It does either, either banish their graveyard or you mill up to their graveyard. That's the one. I think it's pretty good in yeah. the current format. Just banish all the lich traps. Yeah, or you mill all your or monsters. you milled chaos stuff. Yeah, all that. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, uh, chaos stuff. I'm not sure if it's going to really break through, but I don't really see what else they could really print for chaos and not keep it like in theme. This, this... Yeah, like the the new creative ones probably the most like it'll probably see the most play because it's the most splashable. Um, but beyond that, I can't really see a lot of it getting used widely. Yeah. All right, we're getting Toon Harpy Lady. Uh, can I attack the turn of summoned? If you control two more, you can special summon this card from your hand. Then if you control another Toon Monster, you can destroy one spell trap your opponent controls. That's even worse than I imagined. Uh, you can only use that effect once per turn. Where you control two more, two more on your opponent. Oh, so then, then it has the attack directly effect. Um, that's really bad. Mm, I can see where it could be useful, but it's not great. Yeah, that's. I think that's the go with most of these Toon cards. Um, Toon Bookmark, though, is pretty damn good. I want Toon World, or one card that specifically lists Toon World in its text from your deck to your hand. 
also except yep. Toon Bookmark. So you can't add Toon Table content. Wait, yes, you can. Uh, you can, um, it's, it's just like, um... Um, no, you can't add Toon Table. Yeah. It's... Oh, no, it doesn't. It, does, it yeah, doesn't I explicitly thought, yeah. list Toon World on it. Toon Table can... I'm a genius. What I read in the table is correct. Add this, the though. Toon Table can add that, yeah. yeah. So, you, so does... basically, Toons have the best in archetype search power of any deck and nothing good to search. Sky Strike and Mobilize Engage? Oh. Uh, I believe that card is banned. You never said that it had to be currently. Oh, it in fact, it was though. it was so good that it got banned. The artwork looks heaps sick. Um, the and... artwork does look real cool. If a tomb world you control will be destroyed by a card effect, you can banish this card from your graveyard instead. That yeah. kind of helps what they want to do. Yeah. If anything, I would have preferred they got something like Malefic, where it sets Toon World or Toon Kingdom from deck and gives it some level of protection. Something like that. Um, yeah. And last, like, Terra Toon, Counter Trap, when a spell trap card or monster effect is activated. Ah, oh, so it doesn't stop a spell trap effect like I originally thought. Um, while you control Toon World and a Toon Monster, negate the activation, and if you do destroy it, you can activate one Terra Toon per turn. Counter Trap card. They have the I feel like this is Konami's go-to when they need another card to add yeah. to an archetype. They just give it a Counter Trap. Um, we're meant to get 10 uh, World Premier cards in this set, and only 9 have been announced. And Oh. Um... The number we're missing is in the tune section. So the first five cards of the set are tunes, and we're missing number four. We're missing number two. Mm, no, okay. Miss, missing number three, sorry. What other anime character needs a tune card? Because Joey's got one, Mai's got one, Gigi's got one. Um, we had two Battle Dragons, didn't we? Two Battle Dragons, so Bandit Keith's got one. Does Weevil get a tune card? Oh my god, tune Insect Queen. <laughs> yes. Generate tune tokens. Yeah, I could see that. Tune mm, Wing Dragon of yep. Ra. <laughs> um, also in uh, Tune Chaos, uh, they're printing the uh, pretty much the Fire Noble Knights. Um, is it that or is it the Gemini ones? Sorry, Gemini's. My I was going to say the Fire mistake. ones are coming out in the um, yeah, yeah. Legacy, the, the new set, right? The Gemini cards. And also, uh, the Cybers cards get uh, get reprinted for the, uh, from last year's video game. So, never mind. I was a genius of buying it online. <laughs> um, I actually laughing reacted to someone posting that they were trying to look like they're looking to sell this. For 25 each, they're trying to sell those co generators. It's a bit it's, late for it's that. Like, it's like they're new. I don't know how they're new. Uh, and then uh, reprints of note. Pretty much all of, every Chaos Monster except the BLS link is being reprinted. Mm -hmm. um, True King uh, Earth with a. I don't. It's so random that that's getting a reprint. Gamma's being reprinted. Driver's that's really... fucking rare again. What rarity is the new Gamma? Uh, new Gamma looks like to be a rare. Oh. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> Make it an old <laughs> They would there. look kind of cool as an ulti. Yeah. Uh, all the Masked Heroes being reprinted. So I didn't sell Acid in time. What oh, it feels bad. Yeah, yeah me feels... either. <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> uh, Mud Dragon is getting reprinted as well as uh, the, 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 the that weird XE. Uh, number 7 is being reprinted as well. That's kind of weird. Uh, Tomb World is the only other Tomb card game. Is the only Tomb card getting reprinted in this set. <laughs> Busted. Uh, Poor Desires gets a reprint. Uh, and so Poor of Extravagance. Poor of Extravagance is an ultra rare in this set. Um, we don't know the collector's rares yet. But it'll probably be part of Extravagance. Yeah, I imagine so. Um, that's pretty much everything we know about the set at the moment, but we know a whole lot more now than. And it's only coming out in like a week. Well, maybe we can. Have yeah. That. It'll be interesting that last card that hasn't been announced. I wonder what. Yeah. would end up being um look not the worst set they've ever printed but it's nowhere the best 
probably buy a box anyway. Because what the hell else am I going to buy? <laughs> You're going to buy a box? Um, no. Probably not. this not. one. If I the tunes were better, I would. Mm. If anything, I'll probably just buy another box of Eternity Code. Yeah. Well, I want some stuff from this because I'm a, I'm a fiend. I'm, I would rather hold off the Legendary Jewels ones, though, which that, that'll be cheaper and cooler. Right, that's enough Wait, of the... are we getting two reprints of extra? Nah, I'm not, the legendary jewelist is just the, like, the set after, two weeks after, and it'll have cards that I think I'm more keen on. Fair enough. Than this. Mainly to say, common red eyes fusion. <laughs> Look. But uh, that's enough of the TCG stuff. Uh, OCG's announced a couple of cards that I thought noteworthy. Uh, this morning they announced Afterglow. Ah, uh, <clears throat> yeah. Yes. Uh, normal spell, you can activate this card once per jewel. Uh, banish as many Afterglows as possible from your hand, deck, or graveyard. Face up. And face up. And face up field. What? Oh, it's a banish itself. Cool, 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 cool. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And shuffle one of your banished afterglow monsters in afterglow monsters afterglows into the deck during your next draw phase show the cards you draw for your normal turn if you drew afterglow inflict 4000 damage to your opponent hmm so there's been a couple of people suggest that like you can stack it um there's like the galaxy satellite thing that lets you stack um, the new Shark Z that came out lets you stack, yeah, and um, the Zephyr Field spell lets you stack when you synchro. What's the the other one? The one that can stack literally everything. Uh, monster spell. Deep diver. Uh, it's a monster. Is it when it's doggy? Oh. No. Never mind. You can't do that. <laughs> There's only monsters. <laughs> Ah. Yeah, I don't know. This is just, they were pissed off what happened to Slash Draw, and they were like, we'll just make the other effect into it. We'll make the worst one. Yeah. Yeah, it's um pretty disappointing. And a card they announced a week ago, like, not 10 minutes after we uh, stopped recording. <laughs> Ra support, God Blaze Cannon. It is a quick uh, yeah. spell. This card is always treated as a Blaze Accelerator. <laughs> Uh, so yes, we random. can put it in my penguin volcano. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Rematch. <laughs> there's dark magician support, there's volcanic support, let's do it. <laughs> One no wing penguin dragon support of... though. <laughs> One wing dragon of Ra, you control gains these effects for the rest of this turn. This card's activation cannot be negated. It's unaffected by your opponent's card effects. When an attack is declared involving it, you contribute any number of other monsters that did not declare an attack this turn. For the rest of this turn, it gains attack equal to those tribute monsters combined to the original attack. If it attacks, after damage calculation, you can send all monsters to your opponent, your opponent controls to the graveyard. So, First and third effects seem good. The second one, I don't fully understand. Yeah, I mean, you'd already, like, you've already sunk all oh. your life points into it. No, yeah, no, I was, I was going to say that's why it is. Because it's a card that, like, or some sort of effect that you contribute the right to gain the life points back that you spend. Yeah. Or the, yeah. like, basically the attack points. If you have other random monsters on field, you use that, give it more attack points, and then tribute it to gain life points. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's pretty on brand. All these raw, count, raw cards are on uh, brand. I'll try and make a, find a way to make them work as soon as uh, Yu Gi Oh Pro has the images. So I can, you know, play cut. Like I know what I'm like. I know what I'm drawing without having to hover over it. You know, <laughs> good old Edo Pro slash Yu Gi Oh Pro. I can't remember how I fixed that. Yeah, look, like I'm like I was just also tired and cranky last night, so I didn't fix it properly. <laughs> yeah, which is a common issue. <laughs> common occurrence. Yeah, of course. All right. Um, on the Yahoo Gi Oh where I have uh, come through Yahoo Answers for a Yu-Gi-Oh! related question. That one's about George Soros, not about Yu-Gi-Oh! Um... <laughs> 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 Here we go. 
That was nice. Did that come through? Oh, wow. It's a re- it oh, did. Wow, there's a photo attached to this one. I hit oh, refresh. Ah. We haven't seen that before. Mm. This unopened Yu-Gi-Oh card deck worth anything? And we're going to put this into a Yu-Gi-Oh chat. card deck. Which chat? Uh, it is in the Yu-Gi-Oh group chat. And uh, here we go. For those watching at home, if I click this button... Mm, I'm noticing some issues. <laughs> no, there is no issue. This is entirely <laughs> oh, <laughs> real. What the for fuck? The, is for this? the listeners at home, it says starter deck, starter deck Yugi, Marix on it with Baby Dragon and Big 2005. <laughs> yeah, the year is 2005. Uh, and it says Worldwide Edition. <laughs> and um, and the monster. Is that pink imp, the purple imp card that I, I'm forgetting? It's on Fake Trap, right? You can you can pick this up card it's on? from Paddy's Markets for fifty cents. Is it Spear Imp? We should do a trip to Paddy's and just buy a bunch of fake yeah cards. I hope I find and some do fake an opening. Like, oh, imagine if you find a fake Super Metamorphosis. Yeah, I, I, I'm. The more I think about it, you'd play it. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> All right. but um, that's the thing. Fakes aren't as bad as when like we were first starting. Like the fakes were. Terrible. You mean not as good? Oh, well, God, here we go. Yes and no. I like fake. They're so dumb. Uh, I got a fake D spell. Yeah, we only have two answers for this. Mm. Uh, Pearl would say, "I would hope so." Just check it out. That has one dislike. <laughs> 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 what was the other one? And uh, Will says, yeah, probably. What's it worth? I don't know. But I'm sure there are collectors out there who will bid on it over eBay. Stick it up for 25 bucks. <laughs> Bragg's, sending, Bragg's best offering $5. <laughs> I'll pay 5 bucks for this. Dude, yeah, I, pe- I would, thing looks like I'm going to Google it. Wait, hold a second. Start hold a, a second. Deck. Yugi. Merrick. Baby Dragon 2005. Uh, Sebastian, who couldn't join us today, has said, hike he want. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, fake. What if you do like a reverse image search, see if you can find it that way? Yeah, maybe. Probably not, because this guy probably took this photo. <laughs> Um, no, nah, I can't find it. Oh, oh it's if lost we can ever find this, we'll do a pack <laughs> opening or a yeah. structure yeah. deck <laughs> opening. Start a deck <laughs> opening. Well, thank you very much for tuning in. See you all next week. Thank you. Goodbye. Gotcha.